In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create dimensions in the software. We will start with the existing Vectric widget project as the basis for showing the range of options and build up to what you see on the screen. It's worth noting that the level of dimensioning in the software is not intended to make a full drafting program, but more of a tool which can add value to the vectors to give you a quick overview of sizes, etc. before cutting on a CNC. So this is where we're heading, but let's now open the existing part without the dimensions. So file open and select from the menu widget vector. And now we have the same part, but without the dimensions on the screen. So in order to access the dimensions, you are on the drawing menu under the create vector section. The last icon is dimension. If you select that now, you'll be uh, given a number of different options, starting with the type of dimension. In this case, we length is the default option selected, and you then have vertical, horizontal, angle, arc, you have the ability to change the type of font, uh, vary its height, the number of decimal places, whether you want an offset distance for the leaders, uh, whether you want to overwrite the text with some custom text. This may be applicable if you have a part that's not to scale and you want to be very specific with the dimension and the ability to place the dimensions on a particular layer. OK, in this case, this is switched on and it's currently set to two dimensions. So with that now, we're going to go ahead and create a line on the page and then start creating some a quick dimension just to give an overview of the options before we create it on the part. OK, so let's start by creating a single dimension in the top left hand corner where we can look at all the different parameters. So I'm now going to just simply create a line now, something like so on the screen and come back into the dimension form. I'll leave it as the length dimension option and simply with a left mouse key click on one end and then the left mouse key on the other end. And we now have a leader and the dimension that we're bringing away. Okay, so with that, we currently have this size being 2.275. Uh, we can see the leaders are coming down and actually touching the end of the line, which we may want to modify, and possibly the font is a little bit too big, and we may just want to have two decimal points. These are parameters that I would normally have set beforehand, but we can now uh, select this uh, dimension and go back into the form to make the modifications. So with that, I'm going to hit Shift on the keyboard and select the vector and come back into the form now. So with this, um, I don't like the fact that the leaders are touching the line. So that offset distance that we have here is set to zero. I'm going to increase that to say 0.1 and it will instantly update on the screen. You can see there now we have a distance of 0.1 in between the leader and the actual polyline and we can make, maybe increase that up to say 0.2 and you will want to vary this depending upon what's being dimensioned to ensure the leaders do not cross over the part. We may in this case also want to reduce the number of decimal places from 3 down to 2. We may want to increase the height maybe up to say 0.35 okay and we may even want to change the font so let's go down and maybe change the font to a different style okay and you can change that at a later date for any particular dimensions and of course that text can change depending upon the dimension okay if we do want to use custom text maybe this should be actually 2.3 I can specify 2.30 and that will override the original uh, text that we had there. So we know that dimension's um, exactly correct if I was, for instance, giving it out to somebody. So that gives you a simple idea of some of the key parameters for a specific length dimension. We looked at the text type, the height, the decimal places, the offset, and the ability to change the text to be custom text. OK, so with that, I'm just going to close out that form now and just delete that dimension and delete the line. And now we're going to start by creating some dimensions on this particular part. OK, so let's move across to the dimension form again. And we're going to start with the length dimensions. I currently have the font set to Arial, the text height 0.2, the number of decimal places to 2, the offset distance to 1, we're not going to use any custom text for this particular dimension and all dimensions are currently going on to layer dimensions.
So let's come across now and look at the right hand edge here. And I'm going to leave it as length dimensioned because I'm actually going to create a horizontal dimension but using the length option. So I'm going to simply click on the line here and click to the center, so between the two centers, and come off to the right hand side. And you can see that specified that as six inches. I didn't need to create a vertical dimension because essentially the length dimension will always come off perpendicular to the two points that you create. Okay, and we can see that again over here. Let's for instance imagine that we want to dimension between the theoretical intersections of these two lines and draw the dimension off to the left. So with that, I'm simply going to hover over the left hand edge to draw one um, smart cursor line and then the other and we can find the intersection. We can then come across to the other corner and just draw off that point there as well. I'm just going to come off there. OK, we found that point there now and come off and we can now place that dimension in the correct location. So we found those uh, both in both cases using the length dimension and in both cases we've come off perpendicular okay so there we've just shown the length dimension now maybe we want to use the vertical dimension okay which I could have used between those two centers but in this case I want to change the vertical option and maybe say for instance find out the distance from the center of this circle to where this box around the vectric widget starts. So once again, I can simply click on the center of the circle, click on the side of the box, then draw that off to the side. And there we have a vertical dimension specifying the distance between two points that weren't in line. And of course, we can do the same with the horizontal dimension, which is the next option. I can click on the top and then click to the center and come off and you can see that horizontal dimension. OK, so we're getting an idea now of how we can piece these dimensions together. And let's, for instance, now move down to the angle option and we can simply come into this area here, click one point on the line, another point to specify the second line. We're now going to come up to the um, orthogonal axis for X and then we can specify whether we want the large or small angle and we can just now specify the, the angle on the screen. OK, so we're now going to move forward and look at adding the radiuses. OK, so with that, I can specify, select the arc option, come into the circle and I can simply select the edge there, come off and place the dimension in the correct location here. We can see that diameter is not ticked, so it's specified that as a radius. OK, now if I come down to another region in the bottom left hand corner, and maybe select the diameter option, I can pick that item there, come off, and that will be shown as one diameter. And the same here for this arc, we can see now we're going to specify this as 3.5 inch diameter. So we're getting an idea of the different types of dimensions that we can create. We've looked at the length dimensions, vertical, horizontal, angles, and arcs, and we've looked at all the different ways we can vary those items on the screen.